Welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. In this episode, we are going to hopefully have two royal births, as you can see. Um, so right now, Queen Nina of Brindleton, Brindleton Bay is in labor. So Princess Alice is not quite in labor. I tried to have them like in this on the same lot because I wasn't sure who got pregnant first. Um, and I wanted to be able to catch both of their births. So of course, we could name like their babies correctly. And also just to see it all. Um, so it looks like chilled. You're not outside though. All right whatever. Um, so it looks like Princess Nina, she is in labor first. So we are going to have her have her baby. Um, so we're going to have her baby here. I already have all of the bassinets set up and we are, well, I've done some remodeling to the house. So I've added a few bedrooms. Um, we have a nursery. The bassinets are not downstairs though. So I have no idea where she's going right now. Um, but I guess, I don't know. She will find a place, obviously. Oh, and now it looks like Princess Alice is also having her baby. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we're going to have Princess, um, or we're going to have Queen Nina have her baby first, and then Princess Alice shortly after that. So we have to kind of just distract Princess Alice um, so she doesn't have her baby quite yet. Um, so Prin uh, Queen Nina is giving birth right this second. So... Let's see who we have. Oh gosh, painful. I know it's very, very painful. Sorry guys, I know that's not a good angle, but we will just have to see. Okay, okay, so they have a baby boy. And this is actually perfect because I, because um, the we have a baby girl at Windenburg and King George wanted his granddaughter to marry the heir to the throne of Brindleton Bay. So now we already know who's going to get married. So that's great to know already. Um, so we are going to pick out his name. So we have a viewer named Diamond Lover who has suggested several names. Um, and one of the names that she suggested that I love is Johan. So I am going to do that name because I think it's very different. Oh, right. And of course I have to add the prince before that. Um, I just think it's very different. Um, I haven't had a a royal child named Prince or named Johan yet. So I'm definitely going to go with that one. So we have a baby boy that is super exciting. So she has a given birth and this is our little nursery right here. It looks like someone has already knocked down our little play castle. So that's no fun. But um, yeah, so we have their baby now. They'll probably try for another baby pretty soon as well. Um, so next we need to make sure we get Princess Alice. So we're going to go ahead and um, play her as the sim so we can have the baby with her as well. Okay, so now we are going to focus on Princess Alice because she is in labor as well. So we need to send her home first um, so she can have her baby. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It looks like uh, we need to pay our bills as well. So we're going to have to make sure we do that. So we're, okay, so she's going to be sent home. I don't think she can have her baby here. Yeah, and then if you also saw, I have completely changed the outfits of Queen Nina and King Jared. So we'll have to show you guys that the next time we play with that family as well. Okay, so we've made it back home. It looks like Prince Henry, I think he was just freaking out for a second there because his wife is in labor again. So she is definitely like we need to get to the bassinet real quick. So good thing we have two bassinets. So we're going to have her have her baby here. I think Princess Amira, it said that her birthday was very soon. So she will probably age up pretty soon as well. And then we'll get a little baby princess toddler. And I'm excited to have another toddler in the house again. Um, so yeah, I mean her and oh no. Oh no, we are giving birth and we are having King George pass away at the same time. Oh guys. Oh my gosh. This is, oh no. Oh no, I was not, oh wow, this, I feel like this just happens at the most inconvenient times, for real, like, like, oh gosh, okay, oh, okay, well, Princess Alice is giving birth at the same exact time that her father-in-law is dying, oh gosh, okay, so we have another baby girl here, um, so, so that's good. I'm having like mixed emotions right now just because of King George passing away too. So, 
Um, yeah, anyway, okay, so my train of thought is kind of lost here. So the name I had saved for this baby girl is May, and this was um, given to me by a friend, so I promised her that I would name the baby this. So if you have made other suggestions for names, please don't be discouraged because I do, I mean, we're going to have so many royal babies um, because Princess Cora has just married someone, and then we also, of course, Queen Nina and King Jared are planning on having other children as well and we are going to also have another child so if you have made other suggestions for names don't be discouraged because I do plan to use your name as well um, I just kind of go through like who has suggested to me first so this one was by a friend so I kind of gave her priority for this name um, so this is going to be Princess May um, and I haven't had anyone I haven't had a sim name Princess May in a while or at all I don't know why I said a while. Um, so we are having our first May is going to be this Princess of Windenburg. Um, so I did also realize, oh no, did I forget to change her last name? I think I did. Uh oh, wait, 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 let's see. Oh no, it says, okay, of Windenburg. Did I change? I did, okay, I changed Princess Alice's last name to Windenburg. I thought I had left it at Willow because she wasn't like the queen yet. So I was gonna have her keep her Willow last name, but I must have changed it when she had a baby. So we do have two baby girls, which is awesome. Um, so we are going to, oh, okay, yeah, she just needs to cuddle her for a bit. Um, so we are going to probably have another baby because I think they will still want a boy just to like have a few of each, um, might as well. Um, we, I feel like with the lineages though, they usually only end up with like one boy in the family, not in like the first ones but oh okay King George has oh I totally forgot okay King George is now um taken by the Grim Reaper oh gosh they've lost both of their what is that what is that um fury oh gosh oh, oh my god that looked like someone's brain I know that wouldn't be someone's brain but I was just like what in the world is that I'm gonna just keep that put it away because it freaked me out just a little bit um so, oh gosh, okay, that was a good shot of the Grim Reaper right there. So it looks like we have a new butler, apparently, but I thought this was the butler of the um, Willow Creek resident, but I guess not. I don't know what happened to our butler. Um, but yeah, okay, so in the next episode, it's probably going to be a funeral slash coronation ceremony um, because we have just lost our king and queen of Windenburg, so... Oh gosh, I'm so, this just, this has happened. I, I knew, I was kind of expecting, okay, I guess I can't put them right next to each other. I was kind of expecting King George to pass away. I wasn't expecting Queen Isabel to pass away the last episode, so that was a big shock to me. So I was kind of prepared for him to pass away, so that one I wasn't as surprised about. But, I mean, it was like, literally, we were giving birth and then someone died at the same time. So it's like, a new life begins and another one ends. Um, so I, oh man, anyway, yeah, okay, so I, I'm, I was having mixed feelings when she was born. Now I'm super happy, I'm really excited. Ooh, it looks like, oh, wait, oh, that's strange. Princess Amira is a global superstar and she's just a baby. I didn't know they could do that, um, because it doesn't look like Princess May is a global superstar, so that is interesting. I wonder if that was just a glitch. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Um, in the next episode, so as I mentioned, we will have our coronation ceremony for um, for the, the new king and queen of Windenburg. I need to get their portraits done um, because we would have them sit on... Oh, come on. Okay, yeah, I need to go downstairs. So we would have them sit on this throne with their new portraits um, and they would invite everyone over. It will probably be, I was thinking of making it like a charity event um, because like, I don't know. To me, I'm thinking like if they're the new king and queen, people would like donate money and, and kind of give it to them as like a like a congratulations and, and all of that stuff. But like the money would also technically go to the kingdom um, and they would probably donate the money anyway, so I don't know. It's a huge thing. I was kind of thinking about that, uh, and I, I think that will be how it, we're going to do it. Um, but it's also going to be so, somewhat of a funeral. Um, we're going to have everyone kind of come and and mourn the king and queen's um, urns. 
So I'm thinking of maybe like putting their urns here. I don't know. I, this is going to be really hard. I will probably have their urns here. We'll have some people mourn them. And then like during the party, I think I'm going to move it over to there um, and then have the new king and queen um, with their portraits. I don't know. I know that sounds really weird. I was trying to think of the best way to do that. And I think that would be the best way. Um, so you guys will have to kind of let me know what you think. Um, I, I do record these episodes earlier though, so to be honest, by the time I record that episode, or by the time I post this episode, I will probably have already recorded the coronation ceremony episode. Um, so just be aware of that. But, I mean, don't, feel free to still give me, like, what your thoughts and stuff so I can at least keep it in mind for future coronation ceremonies and future, um, sims. So we can definitely do that. Um, and then Princess Anna, we're going to have to work on her as well because she, let's see, how close is she to aging up? Oh gosh, she's so sad. Although she's not mourning the right urn, I hope she knows that. Um, but she is going to age up in six days. So not, not too long, but also like still quite a long way. We have like about a week before she ages up. So we'll probably still get to do like the coronation ceremony. I wonder, I think Princess Cora is actually, they're trying to get pregnant too. So if she is pregnant, she will probably have her baby before Princess Anna even ages up. So Princess Anna is a little bit behind the game, but that's fine. Um, I mean, the house, oh gosh, it cleared out fast. I mean, this was a really full house and now we've just like lost three sims like the king and the queen because they passed away and then princess cora because she is now the queen of willow creeks so that is a big deal and i'm so happy for her but i also want to play with their family soon so we can see her having her baby um uh, but yes we're ending this episode here and i hope you guys enjoyed it again don't be discouraged if i haven't used the name that you suggested i will definitely use the name of the future um so i will see you guys the next episode